middle of that particular yes, report. Yes, I'm sure she yeah. found that particularly fetching. Excuse me, but it was due to be scheduled uh, last week. It got moved to this week, and that, that was the reason. Hello there, we've moved from the studio, and we're quite near the road, aren't we now, Denise? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we're... Uh, and there's, uh, there's a chap there, and he's, a strange uh, man he's talking about us. a sausage roll. Let's just move um, on. <laughs> let's move on. And uh, Now, they're your nearest and dearest, but sometimes is there just one thing that you can't agree on? Uh, well, all summer, our aim is to help resolve these disputes in our kangaroo court. Yes, we'll give um, our couple 60 seconds. We're going to give our couple 60 seconds to fight it out in our court, or should I say a ring? Yeah. And if they still can't settle it, then our panel of judges will make the final decision. Our panel of judges being our this morning family, the Wakefords. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. OK, the result is legally binding. Yes, and they'll get a signed document to prove it. Yeah, that is it there. They, I mean, this is honestly, that is a contract, so whatever the outcome, they will abide by it for the rest of their lives. Uh, now, let's, let's have a look them. at the... Uh, let's meet them. Here is the case for the prosecution. Five years ago, my boyfriend saw a UFO, and he'd just become obsessed, absolutely obsessed with it. Shows everybody... Um, photos of it on the internet constantly. I, I c just can't take any more. It's every day. It's breaking the heart. Uh, and this is the case for the defence. The biggest question mankind has ever asked itself, are we alone? Life, the universe and everything. And since seeing this UFO, I've been going on the internet and I've found that we may have neighbours closer than I ever believed possible. I think I may have found out where they came from, so I need to look into it further. Um, so and are. yes, and they are here now. Please welcome Andy and Vicky. Hi, Andy. Hello, welcome to this morning. I see Vicky. Yes. Hello there. Hello there. Right, Vicky, we heard a bit there. Let's just uh, hear more about this problem. Why is it breaking your heart so much? It just sounds like a fun little hobby. Fun, fun little hobby. It's all day, every day. No He's matter... looking for UFOs all day, every day on the internet. Yeah, and he talks about it. No matter who comes in the house, it could be a salesman, it could be a postman, it could be my mum and dad, anybody. It's yeah. out of control. It is completely out could of it, control. Could it lead to the breakdown of your relationship in the long term? Oh, we have fallen done. out. Seriously, fallen out about it le several times, really. Yeah. Okay, Andy, why are you so obsessed with UFOs? If a building <laughs> floats over your house, <laughs> you ask questions. If a what? A building. What are you talking across about? Across the valley and goes over your house and you see it clear as day. A built, what sort of building? <laughs> it was an L-shaped, well, it's like a block of flats. A block of flats floats in a... Mm. Did you very... see this, Vicky? Did you see well? this, Vicky? Yes, Unfortunately, yes. Well, it's probably a hot air balloon, isn't it? No. 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 How do you know? How do you know it wasn't? It was 40 foot away from us. We could see the bolts on it. It was that close. If I was an alien, I would probably come up with a more cunning disguise than a floating building. It floated across the valley, over our house, and out towards the moors. There we are. Do you know well, what? I'd love to chat more, but this is hurting my legs. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's, it's a little bit painful. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, later on, there will be a fight between these two. We'll explain how it works when we come back from our break. We're going to get dressed up and knock each other over dressed and all up, sorts of things. Dressed up as big kangaroos, fight it out, battle it out in this ring yes. here. Uh, and uh, so we shall, we shall do that. I look forward to that. I'm so me. excited about I'm this. I'm so excited favorite about it. Favourite part of the show. Yes, it is. <laughs> and our favourite part of the show uh, will take place after the break. How he did it. But now, Richard, now. court is in session. It is, it it is time indeed. for Kangaroo Court. As you can see here, our contestants have donned their suits. Let me just remind you of their dispute before they have a bit of a fight. Uh, Andy here is obsessed with UFOs. He once saw a building, a block of flats flew over his house. He then decided that he believed in UFOs and he's not stopped talking about it since. His, his partner of many years, Vicky, they're not married, but they are very much in love. Uh, she is sick of it. He talks about it all the time. She's threatened to leave him unless he stops talking it's about the UFOs. Obsession. The loser of this fight, if, if he wins, he can talk about it forever. If uh, he loses, he'll sign a contract saying he'll never talk about UFOs again. Denise? It? it will be legally binding. It will. It will be. OK, how it's going to work is obviously we've got a kangaroo court, uh, a boxing ring here, so they're going to have to fight it out in this ring. They'll have just one minute to do so. The first one to hit the deck is the loser. Of course, if they go, to dis go the distance and go through the whole minute, then it will be up to our panel of judges here from the, this morning family from the Wakefords to make a decision who wins. Do you understand? I understand. Is that clear to everybody? Understand. And there's a little bit of a crowd there as well at the back. <laughs> you know, one, one of the this morning fans. He just uh, keeps talking about sausage come down and join us. Um, so, uh, I believe we are ready. I have a lit mic here to commentate. Andy, ready? Yes. Vicky, ready? Yeah. 
No smiling, take it seriously. Take it seriously. 60 seconds on the count of three. One, two, three, and away! No! And so the fight begins. Already Vicky, she was the first to hit him. I believe it was a left hook. And his kangaroo helmet is sliding off. And he's over! His days of UFO discussions have ended! And he's down, and that was a wonderful triumph for Vicky. Denise? That is game over. If you'd like to come and join me over here, first of all, Vicky. So, how do you feel? Well, I hope he shuts up now. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, it's been settled. As I said, it's all legally binding this contract, so he has to stick to it. So it's good news for you, but bad news for Andy. Andy, if you'd like to come round here and join me. Yeah. So that's it. You're not allowed to talk about UFOs anymore? You can't no, surf not... them on the net? No. How do you feel? Very, very sad for mankind. You look very gutted, actually. Oh, yeah. Are you going to cry? <laughs> you look like you're about to shed a tear there. Yeah. I thought tears on too. Well, I thought I'd find the place where they came from. Oh, well, never mind. OK, you can use that time now to look after Vicky and spoil her. I think she deserves it after all this time. Yeah, this, and this is the document. We've not filled it in yet, but we are going to put your name in here and in that you agree never talk about UFOs again. It is a contract. You won't, you won't talk about them again? No. OK, that's good. Uh, that uh, floating block of flats will remain a mystery. I will uh, just fill this in now, Denise. OK, now, if you've got a dispute and you can't agree on, then come and fight it out in our court. Contact Kangaroo Court by calling 0870... <laughs> And so the fight begins. Already Vicky, she was the first to hit him, I believe it was a left hook. And his kangaroo helmet is sliding off. And he's over! Seriously. Take it seriously. 60 seconds on the count of three. One, two, three, and away! No! And so the fight begins. Already Vicky, she was the first to hit him, I believe it was a left hook. And his kangaroo helmet is sliding off. And he's over! His days of UFO discussions have ended!